accessing ILGM's administrative back office is pretty simple. All you do is go to your URL that you've been given, type in admin, A-D-M-I-N, at the end of the URL, and you'll come into a login screen. You should have also been provided a username and password. And this will take you right into the dashboard. And the dashboard will give you some information about um, who's been in here, who's edited this last before, ways of getting help, and, and things like that. But our main concern right now is the design of the site. First thing we want to do is get rid of this header image up here and brand it to our company. And for today's demonstration, it's going to be Chris Gargolino Photography. So the, we're going to keep this simple, and we're just going to change it out so I can show you how this whole process works. Very easy. And in order to do that, you click on My Design, and you click on Custom Header. And here you'll find the information that you need in order to get this updated. You have the ability to provide a company name, Terra Firma is here, the tagline of your company. You have right here the ability to upload a new image. You can completely change that and we'll show you in a minute. You also have the ability to add in a URL if you want to. And each one of these are clickable, so there's a lot more information underneath here that you can, you can see that you can easily change all of the stuff from the the positioning, the colors, the font face, the whole nine yards. Today we're going to keep this real simple and all we're going to do is change the company name we're going to go ahead and add a tagline And we'll go ahead and save that and see what that gives us. Okay, everything fits nice and pretty, nice and clean. Um, but this image here doesn't really fit with our photography. Um, we're an outdoor type of, of um, photography studio. So let's go ahead and show you how to update that. It's pretty simple. You click Browse. You find a, a header that you have already built an image of what it is that you want to use. Click open and once again you hit save and this will completely rebuild that header for you. It's really that simple. So what does that look like on the front? Well let's take a look at that. There we go. Now we have it branded and of course you can change the colors, the headers, the graphics. You can do whatever you want to here. But the the idea is, is you have control. So now Let's update our content. Okay, this part will go over to My Tools. We'll click on Page Management. And here you find a list of all the pages that are available on this site. These templates come with some preloaded pages. You can delete most of them if you want. But our main focus today is going to be the home page. So let's go ahead and click on the home page. So we're going to, for this demonstration, turn this home page into like a, a mini bio. And it's really simple. So what do we have here? We have the page title. It's pretty important to name your pages properly because this is how the file is going to be laid out on the hard drive. And this is going to be your navigation. So that's how people can find you. So that's how the text gets written on the navigation. It's also going to be the permanent link, which is what the search engines are going to index on. So it's a good idea that this is pretty intuitive about what what's on this page so we'll just put in about Chris Gargolino and then we have the browser title this is this is also important because this is what the um, this is what displays up here in the browser and what the search engines pick up on so that also needs to be intuitive It's a good idea if you're geographically located. You can go ahead and put in where you're at up there. So what do we have next? Oh, we need to just put in some content. So this is going to be about Chris Gargolino. So let's get rid of this Latin text in here and replace it with our own text. That's a start. Okay. And we've got some more over here to get rid of. And yes, I've already written this. 
it's a good idea to have it written just plain Jane vanilla English if you want. So we'll go ahead and replace this. Now if you want to see a little bit more with your working space here, you can always come over to this icon right here, maximize the editor, and this will fill your whole screen so that you can see a little bit more about what's going on on this page. So let's go ahead and replace the rest of this with the text that we already have. We'll just get rid of all of this. If you get a format that looks like that, hit the eraser button and kill the links and you'll be good to go. This eraser button will strip out any of the formatting that's come over. Let's go ahead and drop this down and put in how to contact. We'll highlight that and we'll give it an H2 format. Let's delete this. And that's that'll do it for this first go round. So let's go ahead and save this. So we'll hit save. And let's preview what we've done. Refreshing the page. So we've got our title, our header, our image, our basic formats, how to contact us. Looks a little bland. So let's put in some images. So we'll go back over here. We'll put our cursor where we want the image to start. We'll hit the image tool. We'll click upload. We're going to get these off of our hard drive. Let's go ahead and upload to the Taylor River. We'll send it to the server. It's been uploaded. Well, let's go ahead and align it to the right and say OK. So there we go. Let's hit save. Preview what we've done. Big fan of previewing what we've done. So that looks pretty good. I think this is getting a little messed up here, so we need to figure out what to do with that. So what we'll do is we'll take some text from down here on the bottom and move it up to the top. Let's see if we take um, a little bit here. And I'm just highlighting it and dragging and dropping it. And as you can see, the system's pretty much WYSIWYG. It okay, looks like we need another line. We'll go ahead and bump that down a little bit just by adding an inner. Okay, there we go. Looks pretty good. This is laid out. This is underneath. So I think we need another image down here at the bottom to give it a little bit more depth. And we'll start off with put, dropping our cursor right here, right where we want it to be. Go ahead, file upload, like we did a few minutes ago. Go ahead and pick the ferret this time. Send it to the server. It's been uploaded. We'll go ahead and align this one to the left and say OK. Hit save and go preview what we've done. OK, looks pretty good. Got a couple of different image sizes, got a couple of different images, got a couple of some different formatting. The only thing that we're actually missing right now is maybe a link or two. So let's go ahead and add a link. We're going to go ahead and create a link um, out of the email address down at the bottom. And links can be created to email addresses, to other pages, on-site, off-site, doesn't matter. They all work the same. So highlight the text that you want to use, click the link tool, type in where you want this to go. This is actually going to be an email address, so we'll select email. We'll type in the email address. That simple. Say OK. It is now a link. Now let's come over here and let's go ahead and link wildlife and nature photographer to a site offline. And we'll just type in 
coloradowildlife.com. Links are that simple. We'll hit save and go preview what we've done. There you go. There's your link there. There's your link there. We have an image here. We have an image here. We've changed the navigation, both top and bottom, and the header. That is just a simple overview of what I control Soho can do. There's a lot more tools involved in here, including photo albums, online payment forms, and the works. But this is a good overview for you to get a good understanding of how simple it is to actually manage your own website.